Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to destroy a Shizu tier limit. This deck over here, it's a sprite variant with some crazy spice here. It basically makes it so half your deck obliterates the most played deck of the format. Watch the entire video and some of the cards and text you're gonna see in here is gonna blow your mind. Uh... We're about to go eat some hot pot. I've never had hot pot before, so I'm excited. They said it's very spicy. And if you guys noticed, I'm whiter than mozzarella cheese. So I'm excited to see if I can handle this spice. If you guys think I can, let me know in the comments. Let's get straight into this video. You're definitely gonna poop yourself. I am prepared for this. Okay. I am prepared for this. Don't do that at the table. If you guys have been paying attention to my last few videos, I'm partnering up with a brand new TCG that has the potential to be the biggest card game in the world. Think of Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic all combined in one game. The best aspects of each game. I really believe in this game. It's absolutely epic. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. So if you guys love card games, if you guys love strategy card games, and if you guys love pendulums, because the best deck is pendulums, baby. The best deck is Trifernal. That's right. That's right. A card named after the pen god himself. If you're a pendulum lover, you're going to be an Elestrals lover. So pen best deck, Trifernal best deck. Learn how to play the game. I did a vlog with my brother. You can go check it out. The Kickstarter is Founders Edition and only available for a limited time until December 4th. So get yours now in the link below. Let's get back to the video. And so over here, we have 15 cards that are one card starters, okay? So if you look at these 15, the deck is a 43 card deck, so you have 15 of these cards. If you draw any of one of them, you have the full combo. Any one of them, assuming you have any other level two, obviously, makes your end board a four card interrupt. It's a one card, four interruptions for any of these one. And you're playing 21 hand traps, but they're very specific hand traps. You have to watch and understand why. The idea of it, if you just resolve one of them, Beaver, whatever, Sprite, Sprint, you keep going, I'll show you the end board. It ends on four interruptions for one card. And you're not playing any, like, Swap Frog nonsense. Now when you think, like, yo, Trip, how are you going to get four interruptions? What's your interruptions, bro? Four Apollosa, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to blow your guys' mind right here. If you're playing Sprite without Mannequin Cat, you're a moron. Mannequin Cat makes this deck. It's the glue of the deck. It's the power of the deck. It's the Electromite of the deck. You're basically playing Sprite without Electromite. So now imagine you do your combo where you go Sprite Sprint into Nimble Angler into two level twos, right? What's your next play? Mascarena? No. You make Mannequin Cat. And think of every deck in the format. They all have darks. So what are you going to summon? Fallen of Albaz. That's right. Fallen of Albaz. Why? Because when you go Mannequin Cat, they all have darks. So you let them summon. You, you don't do it right away. You let them summon any extra deck monster. That is a choke point of every single deck. The extra deck monster. The second the extra deck monster hits the field, where they have to commit two cards of their own to make the extra deck monster, you then mannequin got trigger on the summon to make Albaz. Albaz effect, discard any random plus because you're going to have absurd amount of pluses with Elf, with all this. And then you fusion that into Mirror Jade. And then Mirror Jade gives another interruption. So you're always going to have a sprite starter in hand by a jet or follow up in hand via all the sprite values so you're, it makes it so four interruptions plus the whole board is gone just from one rank two one level two and on top of that you have sprite sprint to bounce from the mannequin cat you have your sprite smashers within the combo all of this four interruptions actually five because this gets rid of an extra deck monster for one card absolutely needed and if you guys are playing swap frog swap frog is a brick on its own so if you're saying fallen of albaz is a brick you're already playing two of those bricks why, and you're playing Sprint Double Cross, the trap card. You're playing three bricks. Just remove the three bricks and just play one. That's it. And actually, cool story about this card is, last night, so my friend Ray, actually, he gave me a little gift, okay? Can I say the gift? Yeah, it's all you. Okay, it's just like a, a bottle of alcohol. So I put it in the trunk of my car, and I was driving like a, a Dom Toretto. Not drinking. No, I was not drinking. I was not drinking. It was just it, it was in the trunk of my car, but I didn't bag it. Like, I didn't put a bag around it like an idiot. And because I was driving like an idiot, and there's so much stuff in the trunk that were sharp, it exploded in my trunk. So my whole trunk just smelled like alcohol, and it was disgusting. So I was cleaning it at nighttime, and I found one pack. One OTS pack. It was one of Albaz. <laughs> so I'm like, wow. I, I, so I removed my other Albaz and replaced it with this one because now it has like special value and smells like a little bit funny. But we're going to remove these now so now you guys get the idea of the deck. So now that you understand that all these one cards are one card, four interruptions, 
The other cards, with the, with the exception like the stuff like this, where they're just extenders, and you need to play two of these because if you hard draw Nimble Beaver, you go Nimble Beaver, special the Angler, and you're still able to go into Sprite Sprint to send the other Angler to special two more Beavers. So you specifically need to play two for that case. And then uh, one Iperia. The reason why you play Iperia, you just need one level two that's a plus one. Just one. Make it a plus one. So in scenarios where you already open blue jet or starter, those nine plus prosperity, so those 12, get you access to your whole thing. So Gigantic Sprite just specials with Iperia. So you just get free, continuously free value. And the one smasher. So now that we're done this whole idea where a majority of the cards are just uh, one card starters with five of them that are just level two generic cards that are still good. The rest of the cards, which are 22 cards, a little bit more, are the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! that obliterate a Shizu tier limit. So you're basically playing every card in Yu-Gi-Oh! ever made that stops the graveyard. You're playing nine bisted cards. Oh, you think that's all the DD Crows are playing? No. We're playing 12, literally like Orcus format. You're playing every single card that affects the graveyard. Skullmeister, Ghost Bell, even Dimension Shifter. Every single card ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! that stops the tier limit cards from being used, you must play them. Think of the tier limit grave effects. Forget, let them resolve the, the let them resolve the Shizu cards. Who cares? Let them resolve whatever they want. They're basic cards. Who cares? All you're focusing on is Merly, Havnis, and Shirin. If you have the capability to stop those three, even just two of those three, they cannot play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Their board does nothing. They have a 30 card graveyard of nothing. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't matter. So if you max out on every single one of them, it makes it so you have the highest chance to draw two plus. So I don't want to see just like six of them. Because if I see, let's say you just play like these six, for example, or even just shifter, maybe like you play like just six bisted, whatever. You play nine, maybe you'll see one, maybe you'll see two. When you play 21, you're actually very likely to see three. You are very likely to maybe even see four. So your opponent's passing their turn. And then because you have 15 one card starters, oh yeah, I just play Mobile Beaver into full combo with four interruptions for one card. You play a control game. And on top of that, these don't these nine aren't even kind of like hand traps. They're still cards that hit themselves in the field and allow you to elf with any level two. And we play rank sixes in the extra deck, so even good on, on standalone value. This is the idea. This is how you destroy a she's a chill limit. You need to have every one of these. If your deck cannot play shifter, it's fine. Uh play these. No shifter is a 40 card deck. It is, yes. It, it, you could make it 100 percent You could make it 40. I even thought about removing like some of them, but we need to add as many as humanly possible because if that player when you're going first you're already winning right when you go first you're already winning because you're setting up the four or five interruption combo with one card so all the extra cards in your hand when your whole deck is a one card maybe two card two level two combo why wouldn't it be cards that just absolutely obliterate the deck that's tier zero pendulums so now i'm going to show you guys the extra deck it's a 43 card deck you can make a 40 if you want but uh i would just play all of them i might even remove some moss the, nah don't remove these Oh, one more thing as well. Post side deck now against the Shizu Chill Limit specifically. You still keep all of these. The only other card, you could even play a Phantasme to draw into them because eventually they go into a link. But I would advise playing Ash Blossom instead because Ash Blossom will still stop their mill five uh, when they with the go with the stuff. And the cards that you side out in the main deck's already made for that deck. So we just put in three cards post side. You'll put in one of this, you'll remove this, and then it's even debatable to cut out smashers, but don't do that. Just keep it and one angler. The reason why is going second, if you hard draw the one of Angler going second, I mean, whatever. You don't need Sprint at that point. So going second, you just remove these three, and you put in three more of your favorite hand trap. It could be Ash Blossom, it could be whatever. Now your, your opponent's dealing with 24 hand traps. They just, they're not playing. They're not playing. But main deck, 21. So that's the idea of the uh, of the main. I'm not going to show you guys the extra deck. Uh, the most important parts are this. So when you go into Mirror Jade, uh, Mirror Jade gives you the first interruption. You can send anything you want. You could send this, you could send this, you could send Albion. There's different versions where you could also play Lubelion and play one rebranded and one branded beast. In doing so, not only will Lubelion get you the spell, the brand, the bisted spells and traps, but when you go into your Albaz combo, you could send Albion, the fusion Albion, to set you branded beast or the spell, which works out as well. You could play a super poly in the deck somewhere and send the Alba Letanez, which will get you a super poly. But all this stuff requires a little bit too much of an extra deck. So just play any two. The best ones, in my opinion, would be uh, one that stops M-Pen and one that stops just any generic Dark. So I believe it was the Sprint. I mean, just play Sprint and Titan Clad because this also gives you the opportunity to Albaz into those specifically to get rid of a card for uh, Flunderies and just get rid of a generic monster that was special summon that turn that might not be an extra deck monster. So those might work out, but you still have the capability of using their effects twice. Even when 
let's say that Mary Jane somehow they miraculously asked a prayer to God, let me survive this turn from the superior duelist, which is you guys. If that happens, you could actually go Sprite Elf, special back Mannequin Cat. Mannequin Cat, you do not need to detach to resolve it, even if it has no materials when you special it from the graveyard. And Mannequin Cat will still be able to trigger when they special summon a monster to special the exact same thing. So it's just amazing. You can actually resummon your own Mirror Jade from the grave, or resummon your Mirror Jade because it's special from Albaz. Albaz is a fusion summon, and then use it again. So it's actually never ending because of Sprite Elves. Now, as for the link, speaking of Sprite Elves, uh, two is fine. A Sprite Elf loses value because of uh, they're going to have a, uh, a Shizu cards in the grave. So sometimes you don't even care too much for Elf. So in this format now with great, your grave basically being half useless, uh, it's important to do this. One more thing to mention as well. If you guys, uh, let me pull out this one level two. Uh, Iperia is, is an Earth, right? Yes. Iperia is an Earth. The Sprite plus ones are Darks. So if your opponent is playing Bisted, uh, continue, once you summon this to the field which you're getting Sprite, this is your card you always bring back with Elf, never the other ones, because it's literally just going to get Bisted. Let their Bisted card stay in their hand for no value. Or win your own Bisted battle. One Sprite Sprint, all you need. One Dark, and then one Mascarena. And instead of an actual interruption, this is uh, Mech Knight Avermax. A lot of decks have difficulty outing this when it's protected by Destruction. And in conjunction with your four Interruptions and all your 21 Hand Traps, you really do not need more Interruptions. You already have enough Interruptions and Negates. That you still want a card, a kill card, a card they cannot deal with, uh, half towers, while they still need to deal with the 21 interruptions. So this is like kind of like the kill card with that sense. This is the Mannequin Cat. Uh, I left it at home because I'm an idiot. And uh, I'm not an idiot. I'm actually a genius. But I do have moments of idiocy, which is never. So two gigantic sprites, one downer, one Zeus, obviously. And the last card is this card, Wallow. This card is absolutely absurd because you're playing nine Bisted cards and three prosperity so you're basically playing 12 you get access to this quite often also your dark steals their level six so you take their bisted so this comes up quite often it's better than beatrice because i mean what graveyard effect are you really sending here and what you do with wallow is this your opponent is gonna have a full graveyard of 30 cards because they're milling a bunch right with their own ishizu sure no problem mill all you want bro this will not only stop their own tier limit if you want to get rid of one but this can actually set a spell card if you guys didn't know that, you, they have a whole graveyard of 30 cards. Take their best spell card with this and use it. It's a set spell that got set. It's not a trap card. It's a spell. It's a normal spell. So you could flip it on the exact same turn and utilize their power spell against them. Is it only a normal spell? Uh, Any card, actually. So you can even take a trap card from them. So you can take a super poly? Yeah. And use it with your extra deck? Huh? Oh, that's nice because we have the fusions. That's sick. Let's go, right? Yeah, more synergy, right? Exactly, exactly. Keep in mind, too, if you do reborn with your Magamuts, you don't need to deck thin. You can use the same. Right, yeah. You can get from graveyard. It does yeah. not have to be from deck. Yes. People forget that. And people do. And that does come up, especially yeah. when your whole deck is in the graveyard from your opponent's uh, mill 20. So that comes up a lot. So utilize all of this. If you look at it, Look at the combination of all the extra deck. You're kind of covered everywhere. I know there's a lot of other cards like what Omni, uh, whatever, the rank two that some people play or Cerberus. You have Fallen of Albaz. Mannequin Cat does what those two cards do, except it gives you double interruption. So you don't need to play those cards. They're just useless in your extra deck. Uh, that's it for the profile. The side deck could go many ways. Uh, you could play a lot of go first cards. You could play a lot of cards for Flunder because if you look at this, this uh, the card... The matchup versus Flunder game one is very, very bad because you're very specifically targeting uh tier limit which tier limit everyone is playing so for those 21 grave cards if you can always keep this as offensive cards remove those 12 hand traps that are graveyard effective and put in cards that auto kill flunder such as talents such as droplets such as dark ruler there's so many of these twin twister cosmic there's so many cards that destroy those cards so keep this in mind when you're building your side deck uh, and uh, flunder's ass anyway so i mean you don't have to just as long as you have nine plus the ash you're already playing that you side into tier limit you have like 12 cards to put in against flunder that if you draw one or two, like, you're fine. So that's it for the profile. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Just want to add one thing. Taking advantage of that Brandon regained if it's milled to the graveyard is ridiculous with that rank six. Oh! You if can take the... Yeah! That's sitting in there, you're infinite plus at yes, that point, right? Infinite plus because the whole deck synergizes. Think of how many business yeah. cards you're playing. And I really personally wanted to put my own, like, rebranded and yeah. Brandon Beast in here with the Lubelion really badly yeah the only reason i'm not doing it is i'm respecting a she's a chill limit so sure. much you I'm have like, to. You have to. yeah yeah Play. but i think in the maybe for locals also check your guys locals because i never for the last little while i was gone for cuba whatever but i victor told me that like no one not many people are playing she's a chill limit at locals it's a little bit different from like ycs I, I think it's climbing right now. exactly it'll, it'll, exactly it just came out 
people did not want because remember it's only been a week and a half yeah yeah roughly right yeah. so a lot of people were not ready to spend that much money yeah. on the core but now it's so yeah. affordable exactly yeah and everyone yeah. already has their code stuff that's not yeah you know, uh, ex expect it expect exactly it fun, right expect it a lot my grandpa <laughs> he, my grandpa here used to watch that yeah, so yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, <laughs> guys thank you for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to smash the good button smash, smash the like button i'll see you guys next video peace huh? From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits, clash for victory, ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter.